Do you even know who the fuck I am? Do ya? Ooh, welcome back, guys. How you doing? Um, how am I doing? Oh, it's nice you ask. Well, my uh, cat just cut my finger before this video started, so uh, it's my excuse. Oh. Um, you're probably wondering, oh, where was your video last week, David? Well, I fucking crashed. But you said you were update, Barry. I don't give a fuck what I said. No. We started in the back of a really good field that we didn't have to. I'll put the clip in there. I think I still have it. That start wasn't really paying attention. To where the leader was, no one come up the track. No one come up the track. Okay. What? what? Don't you fucking dare. Oh. I put the clip in, but I ran in the back of the guy. Drove up to seventh car in line when I was laps down because I just tipped over and had damage. But so we said, fuck it. You got a league race instead, all right? Be grateful, you little bitch. Now, uh, this lobby, we got, we're not going to qualify for our heat. Um, we're at Fair Barrerino on the VRS setup. Uh, we hit an O at the end of practice. I think that 1-5-1 one one laps actually really, really good. So we might we might have not qualified pole. Um, but, uh, so we're just going to start in the back. Generally, Fairbury races are very, very dangerous um, during these weeks because a bunch of people don't... What is this guy saying to me? Because a bunch of people don't like running it, so you kind of get random as a top split. Why is this... This guy just said please for no reason. Hello? Hello. Um, but uh, we got a couple guys that I know um, in here. But nonetheless... Uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, and yeah. Trump bashing. Alright, let me show you guys something. If you ever want to get a second bottle, just do what this guy did. And this actually happens quite a bit. Somebody's out there probably yeah. saying this. If you got set up from David Allen, just message him say, You hate fucking hate Bergeron. <laughs> and I'll you a, you'll get a set up every time. <laughs> uh, it's pretty frequent, but we're gonna watch this heat race just because it's fair, Barry, so shouldn't add too much time to the video. That guy doesn't want to hit the gas. Everybody tops Hagen, lap one. And everybody eats the wall and follows each other into the wall, Hagen two. And we ricocheting off cars, couldn't corral it. And they're gonna have fun in a B main. So, you just gotta make sure you, 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 you wanna cut the corner in 90 degree angles and they just carried too much speed out of two hung the right rear out a little too much bottom's not there yet but bottom can usually hit a two or a three um and there's still like ones and twos on top or eights where that just was but this is fairberry racing you either love it or you hate it you got guys that can just rip the shit out of the fence and that guy's a newer look out i got a race now and then you got the guys who hate ripping the fence and they absolutely despise the track. At the end of the day, it's a terrible fucking track. Anyone who says Trick Fairbury is a good track is just a liar. Um, that's whatever. You try to get them to move in the tires a little bit, it'd be better. It'd be better. Um, the middle would stay there twice as long as it does now, um, which is only like five laps in certain conditions. Um, but like, watch out, let's, let's see this guy, got in the wall, scared to go back to the top. It's still not as scary as riding, we had a lap car, we don't win like that, can't be doing it. Another big thing, you got guys swinging, you see the rear end coming out on the straightaways, and they kind of whip it in there again, like a non-wing. Um, it's a real tough thing, is keeping the car straight on the straightaways, when they are the hardest, they're part of the hardest. Um, it's part of the hardest as a racetrack, here, Lanier. Sometimes Lima Land, not so much. Can be at Kokomo. But, I don't know, short tracks, it's just, um... It's tough to... It's tough to keep that rear end or throw on the straightaways. Um, so we're here. I think, I think we got five gallons. We got five gallons. I hope five gallons makes it. Um, but bottom should be workable. I don't know what the lap times it is as we're doing at the end, but we're just going to have to kind of go where other guys are. We're going to try to be smart, try not to crash. We're either going to gonna rip around everyone or we're going to pancake the wall like six times, but still finish like third. 
Um, let me see what we got here. Got Sunshine like a turn four. I used to really, really hate that shit. Let's see what we got grip wise here on the bottom left. Is there any slick spots starting? A little bit on entry there, maybe. A little bit for me, I don't know. And then out there. So. I don't know if that's just the graphics, because it looks like it's on the straightaway. Definitely a little bit right here, it oh, looks like. But nothing too bad. And then the top's pretty rot slip. The wing is still at zero. Oh, yeah. Um, but you still have enough to be able to plant your whole right rear in grip, so the top's still really fast and you it. Start, we're actually all right back a little bit, going into one just to see. Okay, we're hitting the right rear. I keep the car straight here, keep it really low. Get clear high. No, not car there. This corner a little bit more. We're gonna go above these guys. Hope they don't hit us there. We're good. And there we go. Just took out the guy behind me. We're gonna transfer spot. Let's try to rip. Suck it on! Don't you're not gonna squeeze the guy outside there. Digging one of the car high man. Thought he might have slid up a little more, but digging. We're clearing the one. We're not gonna slag it. It's probably faster to run the bottom from the angle we're at. Now we can get back up top. Not riding the wall like that guy, I hope. Big heck of steam. We're gonna use it one more time. We're gonna try to stick the bottom under him. Don't throw a slider if you don't have to. Get the car real sideways and then try to get the power down. We're even with them. This one we're gonna round off a little bit more. Can't get the power down, still side by side with them. We can clear them here. We're not going to though. We're gonna try to run this bottom and try to get to the second here. Alright, he's gonna try to run bottom of three or four again, probably down here. He did not get the best corner. We're gonna try to rip around him here. Right, he's gonna slag it off. We're gonna tub him. <laughs> we didn't get him. We got incident points. It was close. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jesse. Good job, good job. Good job, guys. Good job Alright. So we got third in the heat race. Take a look how close that was real quick. Ah, oh, man. Just hit that second. Just completely got it on the wall. Okay. But, uh, let's take a look at that one. Just back a couple laps. Back when I was, like, in seventh. Those two guys just got in the back straight away. somewhere like here. That was lap two. Ah. So... This guy just kind of entered middle and got stuck in it. This guy was going around handling and everything, but his momentum was carrying him back down the track, just how how far he had the right rear hung out. And then this guy, I mean, this guy was slagging up regardless. Um, he need, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just racing deal. Close quarters for track racing, and then we were just able to squeak by, and then the angle of the corner kind of collect a few other guys, but... uh. We'll be back in the future. Alright, so after watching the B main, and say this is a track you hate, there's just, there's just advice for any track that you might not like, you know? And, I mean, obviously, you know, you like iRacing, you want to race it every day as much as you can. Um, but if the officials attack like a track, a of fun. it's, it's like a track you fucking like, it can be a, Take you know, easy. a upsetting week, you know? And then there's there's, you know, maybe we venture out to other series then for the week. Um, also, boys, if you wouldn't mind, but, get some free time, swing by the channel sometime. Say what's up. Okay, thank you. Just talking to you guys. Um, uh, but just take it in strides. You know, don't don't just go plug the bottom and Good get lapped like a fucking loser. Um, but just, you know, try to manage your races. You know, micromanage them a lot, 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 lot more minimize the mistakes well how do i do that you don't race someone for freaking eighth place as hard as you can if you're scared of the top well only run the top when you're by yourself don't follow anyone else up to the top 
and then just manage your corner but stay under control as much as you can you know and that's the biggest thing for most of these guys they just don't have enough car control on any track much less a track that they don't like or that you know that's maybe like as you know as tough as a slick fairberry is but we felt good so far let's uh, hope it continues here around the feature of the rs set let's gig it I would love a long green flag run just for some lap traffic. He's, uh, he's slagging up. He's going to stack them all up a little bit. So I just came down just to lower up. All right, caution. Let's not crash. Yeah. We saw a leaguer slagging. We knew the two cars in front of us would either check up or cut down a little bit. We were clear behind us. We were clear inside of us. So we just kind of lifted and followed the little path that they were going to do. Staying up high, we're going to have done anything. Maybe I gain half a car length on the guy, or I have outrun over the guy once they lift. And it just would have put everyone in a worse situation. So we just managed, managed the corner. We weren't looking to get up to third in the first lap. Doesn't matter. We just managed our first corners. We're going to do the same thing on this restart. Going All right. Green. Just like yeah, that. We we're going back to green. Make sure we take care of our tires. My boss, man, pace guys off. Let's do this thing. Got a big enough gap where it's safe enough where we'll enter the top. So we ran our first top in three and four. Felt good. Got right around this guy inside. So I don't know if they're running the bottom because they don't think the car will like the top or they just think the bottom's that good. But, um, we're going to get around in there. I've been watching this. I came across this new golf channel, but this guy's very, uh, he just, he breaks it down basically to like bad golfers, you know, just con control, control what you can control essentially. We can't control everything going around us in a race. So just control as much as you can, that's in your hands, alright? Pick the best lines, play it safe when you have to, if you need to be aggressive, do it at times. There's a time and a place for everything. But this. Sorry about that, seven You know. If someone gets into it and you get the wall, you lose a few spots. Don't go, oh, I gotta get those three spots back now. I gotta get them back, you know? Just say, alright, let's get in rhythm. Wait for them to make their mistakes if you need to. Race will go on. Oh, yeah. I wanted to go to the bottom of three and four, but not like that. That was scary. It really caught me off guard. I didn't think I was going to hit it there. But, yeah, there's a slick under what looks like a nice little curve. So how do we set these guys up? Try to bottom right here just to see what's left of it. Looks like it's slick all the way to middle still, but we can get good drive off. We barely lost any ground. So we know what's there. Everybody's really hanging out here too. Since I hit the wall, I'm kind of scared too. Second place in the wall. He's cutting down. This guy's cutting down with us. See if he's going to throw a slide jobber, try to stick the bottom. He's not going to make it work. But now he's going to try to get back top probably. So I'm going to go bottom where he sticks bottom. It's all right. We didn't lose much, though. Ah, shoot. I went at the advance from the lap, at least. So you're like, well, why didn't you just go wreck it? Why didn't I just try to freight train that top guy on top? See, I thought he would either try to get back in line because uh, he could have either slid in front of the car in front of us, and then they would have to check up, and we'd think if I could have we went to the bottom, we could have been three wide out of the corner. Um, that was the goal. It just didn't happen. In worst case scenario, came out of a corner exactly where we were. If I would have ran top, and they stayed exactly how they were, which happened, I would have been exactly where I was that I ran the bottom. So I lost nothing, but in the end, I played a safer corner because I didn't enter top, then have him slide, then everyone stack up. No. So, yeah. What about that? It's the little things in that situation. What I did there was a little more safer. 
it made the cards a lot more controllable. They're like, then you, then you would have been three wide coming out of... That's all right. That's what I can control. And I can control going to the bottom there and one or two then. Or if I have to, even slide them both right there. I still would have been... I would have liked to been... I felt more safer in that position than I would have on the top with them slagging in front of me. Our wing is still at zero. We're actually going to move it back to two now that I think about it. They just look squealy. I'm not losing any ground on the bottom, and they just look really squirmy like someone's going to hit the wall. This track's getting slicker, and they keep pushing it as hard as they're pushing it. I'm right behind him. It's not going to be good because he cuts down in front of my nose. Almost hit him there. Right. Hitting the wall hard there. See if I ran the bottom. Out around the bottom, out of an easy pass. Now we're racing for the lead. Track just opened up big time. Top's hard enough to run. Bottom's got enough grip. Throwing sliders. So we're gonna see where we set ourselves up here. On the top. That guy spun on that real two sideways there. See, he stays low again. These guys got a little more of a rhythm. Uh, I was looking to go to the bottom, but I wasn't sure if I was clear low. Gonna follow this guy, cut down. Sliding for the lead, so now he's gonna catch up to him right here. We're gonna see what he does. I'm going bottom. Bottom is open for me. Nobody in front of me. Don't have to worry about anyone else making mistakes. I control where I go. Damn. It's getting good. You see that? Put myself in the least vulnerable situation. Oh, a car almost came low on me. That's why I made sure I tried to be low enough so I give him all enough room. Control what you can control in a race. Can't control where other cars go. I can only try to predict and put myself in the best case scenario. So even on track you might not like, the track you hate, or going to the top, banging the wall down, you can still do all these tiny things. I pro I'm, I'm, I've ran the bottom twice as much as all of any of these guys, but it's never been two corners in a row, if you look at it. So I've never really lost any speed doing it. Just picking and choosing one of the right times. We haven't even thrown a slagger yet. <laughs> the whole the whole race, we from heat race to here, we haven't thrown a slagger yet. Oh, it's alright. The green, push, put our wing back to three, we're halfway through the race. It's all top. Guy in front of us running a little cut down in three and four. We gotta keep that in mind just so we don't so we don't clip him when he's there. Things you can go through under yellow. What line is this guy gonna run? running into both lines. Yeah, he's scared of that exit too. He's checking up a lot. We're just going to try to turn it down a little steeper now. See if he tries it here again. We're going to back it in. Let it come down a little steeper than him. We're just trying to get our run. Oh god, we're sideways. Alright, that was a little too much. Because if we get a run, then it makes it really easy to throw a slider, especially when he's turning down the track. So we can clear it. We're going to try it now. We're gonna throw a nice wide one so we're really, really low. You can easily cross it over. That's all right. Look what it did to his next corner. Look what it did to his next corner. We didn't throw a slider to pass him. We threw it to mess up his next corner as much as we could. And that's what it did. It's beautiful. It was a very safe, safe slider. We didn't have to park it. Now he just got chased down the leader. He made his angle into the next corner bad where he just had to stick it middle. Even if he would have slid up thing, it would have been so it would have been he would have lost all his momentum, I could have crossed over. I could have just done the cut down line he was running and would have been it would have been a-okay. So we just gotta put some laps together now. Alright he's cutting down. He doesn't like exit four. I like the exit four more than I like the exit two. So I'm gonna cut down right here. Come on. That's with him a little bit. Alright. We're up to his nose. We're not going to slag him. We're going to try to stick the bottom. Alright. Didn't work. Sometimes when they're expecting the slagger, they mess up. And you can easily get alongside of them even more. I'm going to cut down here. Just because he drove it in a little deep. Alright. Got lap traffic coming still. A couple laps to go. What do we got? Five to go. Maybe look at that down the straightaway. 
but I've got down on three and four. I'm just scared. I'm out. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's see what I We did a big gun. We were just paying attention. We weren't hauling the mail in there, following the guy. You know, if you see a guy doing that, brushing the wall, brushing the wall, brushing the wall, eventually the track changes, or slicks up more, or they make a mistake. So you just got to really be ready on that easy cut down, easy pass. Every pass I made, I think, so far in this race has been pretty easy. The only sketch part was just before that one yellow mirror three wide, but that was going to get fun, so... Put herself in a, a lead. All right, we just took the lead. All right, this is maybe we haven't even won a race yet. So we got four laps to go. We didn't want to see that yellow, but gives us clear air from that those lap cars. So we just need to go on. The person behind you has to make the pass. Make them make the pass. That's something I don't do enough. I'm not gonna outsmart myself. I'm just gonna enter the corner. I'm gonna do everything at my own pace, because they are not lined up behind me at all. So I'm not trying to drive it in deeper. Okay, as I get tight. I'm not trying to drive it in deeper just so they don't get near my back bumper. No. Make them make the pass, especially at a track like this where it's tough to pass. Because if we hit our marks on the top, all they can do is throw a slide down. No one's passing me on the bottom right now. So as long as I don't hit the wall, I'll, at worst, I get the crossover easily. I have an easy crossover at the worst catches me and throws a slap down. So I'm just going to patiently hit my laps. Watch that little orange marker right there. White flag. It's super safe. I have a good gap. Hope no one crashes in front of me. I'm going to run the middle down here. Alright. We can get our win. We threw one slide job from the start of the night to the finish. One slide job. And it was Good such race. a safe, safe slide job. Didn't put herself in any danger, managed all of our positions, yeah, good race, buddy. didn't get, you know, caught up in anything, didn't get caught behind anyone else hitting the wall either. We hit the wall a couple times, I yes, that's going to happen. Really and I hit the wall more really times than that, car. for the most part, most likely. Um, we managed our own race, we did what we needed to do to win, get to the front, do whatever, you know. Dig it all thanks to an awesome VRS setup. Drop a like for the win. Um, I think we're going to do, if you guys like the league race stuff, we'll do league racing more too on this. And we'll even play with the setups more on that. So you guys can get 410. That will cover the 410 sprint cars too. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. Peace the fuck out.